Hey guys, welcome back to Bronze's Math Club. Today's topic is dividing unit fractions by non-zero whole numbers. Now I know this is a pretty big title and sometimes it could get a little confusing like unit fractions, non-zero whole numbers. Well, you know what? Just to make it a little simple, unit fractions are just fractions that have numerators that are a unit, which means one. So it could be one half, one third, one fourth, something like that. And non-zero whole numbers are just whole numbers that, that don't have zero. So for example, a two, three, four, now a, a, with a zero whole number, that would be sort of like 20, 30, 300, something like that. But this is non-zero whole number, so we, we don't have any zeros. So it could be just two, three, four, five, six, something like that. So to start off with, dividing unit fractions by non-zero whole numbers is just that your um, dividend is going to be a unit fraction and your divisor is going to be a non-zero whole number. So for instance, let's say we have a problem such as, so our dividend is going to be a unit fraction, so 1 over, I'm going to say 16, okay? And by a whole num by non-zero whole number, so your divisor has to be a non-zero whole number. So let's say I'm just going to make it a 4, okay? So now we have a 1 over 16 divided by 4. How do you do this? Well, it's really simple. First, what you have to do is you take your divisor, which is your whole number, and since it doesn't have a denominator, you're going to put a 1 underneath it. Now, in division of fractions, you don't do like direct division, like 1 divided by 4 or 16 divided by 1. That is wrong. What you're going to do is you're going to use the reciprocal method. What is the reciprocal method? The reciprocal method is just you have to take your second fraction, which is 4 over 1, you switch it so that it becomes 1 over 4. So the reciprocal for 1 over 16 divided by 4 over 1 would be, so 1 over 16 stays the same, and you may make your 4 over 1 a 1 over 4, but the division sign now becomes a multiplication sign. So that is the reciprocal method. So 1 over 16 divided by 4 over 1 becomes 1 over 16 times 1 over 4. So that's the reciprocal method. Now all you have to do, now we all know that in multiplication of fractions, you just do direct multiplication, right? So we know that 1 times 1 is, of course, 1. And 16 times 4, so if you come over here and do 16 times 4, 6 times 4 is 24. Bring over the 2, carry the 2, sorry. 4 times 1 is 4, plus the 2 is 6. We have our product of 64, and our denominator becomes a 64. So that means the quotient for our original problem, 1 over 16 divided by 4 over 1 equals 1 over 64. So that was really easy, right? Now how about we have another problem. So let's cut this out. Okay. And it's still going to be unit fraction by non-zero whole number. So our unit fraction could probably be 1 over, let's say, 162. So that's a bigger denominator, right? And by non-zero whole number, let's say we have, let's say maybe 12, okay? Because this is a non-zero whole number, right? It doesn't have any zeros. So 1 over 162 divided by 12. So again, reciprocal method, but before reciprocal method, we have to add our 1 for the denominator. So now this becomes, if in a reciprocal terms, it would be 1 over 162 times 1 over 12. And we know that 1 times 1 is, of course, 1. And now we have to find our denominator by multiplying 162 by 12. Now these are big numbers, yes, but this will really um, improve our multiplication skills, right? So if we come over here and if I were to scoot this over here, so we were 1 over 162 divided by 12 over 1, right, as our original problem. So now it gives us more space to do our multiplication. So 162 times 12. Now remember, 2 times 2 is just 4. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus the 1 equals 3. So we have 324. Now we're going to add a 0 here because we're moving place value, right? So now this becomes intense, so we have to add 1, 0 because 10 has 1, 0, right? So 1 times 2 is 2, and then 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1, add them together, 4 plus 0 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 6 is 9, and then 1. So our product for 
162 times 12 equals 1,944, and that becomes our denominator, 1,944. So that means the quotient for 1 over 162 divided by 12 over 1 equals 1 over 194. So just to like summarize this topic, the um, method for dividing a unit fraction by a non-zero whole number is that remember, unit fractions, the numerator is always a 1. The non-zero whole numbers are just whole numbers without zeros in them. And first you need to, for your whole number, you need to add the 1 as your denominator, then make it into reciprocal. So you're going to change the division sign into a multiplication sign, switch the second fraction upside down, then just do sort of direct multiplication. Now if you notice one thing, when you do um, this topic, your, your numerator is always a 1, because when you switch it over, 1 times 1 is always going to give you 1, right? And your denominator, you just have to do simple division. So that's that for dividing unit fractions by non-zero whole numbers. Now, of course, if you want to find more practice problems, you can always visit our website. And um, stick around for more videos, and we'll see you guys next time.